Today we are going to be talking about one of the most dominant guardians that Smite has to offer on the battlefield who recently just received a nerf. Welcome to Theory Crafting. In the recent Nox patch, Geb has finally received a nerf. His stone shield no longer provides knockback immunity, but Peckies, how significant of a nerf is it? You know, it's it's not going to be too much of a nerf. It's going to hurt him a little bit, but it's it's going to make gods have an easier time to deal with them. People are going to have to choose whether or not they want to use that shield to absorb damage or cleanse it. I think the other big thing, though, is that Bacchus, one of the stronger supports, but has always been overshadowed by Geb, um, Athena for a while, coming in, Sylvanas. He's always had struggle. He's always had a struggle against Geb because he's had that knockup immunity. And so now that Bacchus' main engage, that knockup, isn't immune anymore, he's going to become a lot stronger just off that. Yeah, you know, in that same regard, Sobek is going to be, you know, maybe making a comeback. He's got the tail whip available to him now to disrupt the enemy team and make sure those targets are being, you know, knocked up and disrupted, as well as a pull during laning phase to really put people out of position. I just worry that Sobek is going to have issues, because he still isn't one of the stronger supports, he has to go really far forward, and he just doesn't have the engage that the other supports have. And so even though this helps him, I don't see him getting play unless a lot of supports are banned. Now, I know we're sitting here and we're talking about Bacchus and Sobek, but now who's available in competitive play is actually Sylvanas. Sylvanas is a humongous healer. He has a pull as well. What is the matchup looking like between Geb and Sylvanas? You know, I have to give the advantage to Sylvanas in the early laning phases and even the mid game. He, his ult does a lot of damage in the mid game. He's got the ability to pull people out of position. He has the ability to heal not only his teammates, but the minions during laning phase, which could really help your push. And late game, I'd have to give it to Geb, because Geb definitely has a much stronger engage, much quicker. He's more mobile, has some multiple CC, and why Sylvanas can pick, it's just not quite the same. Plus, this is a burst meta, and burst meta, that instant shield health is huge. So if you're looking for the late game, you want Geb. If you're looking to win the game early, go ahead and pick Sylvanas. That's going to do it for us here from the High Rise Studios.